Forget about your fancy graphics cards and elaborate water-cooled computers. Nothing screams excitement like a new operating system release, right? Anybody? No? Well, elated as you may or may not be, Windows 10 is already available for user testing and feedback, and it brings some big changes to the table. So big, in fact, that Windows 9 was skipped entirely for reasons unknown. Now, for those of you not using tablets, the biggest addition will be the appearance of something very old indeed, the start menu. Windows 10 gives a much appreciated nod to keyboard and mouse and trackpad users for that matter by keeping the full screen modern UI as an option, but otherwise making live tiles an also optional part of what otherwise looks like a much more traditional start menu. Speaking of tiles, it's also much easier to tile different windows on your desktop with Windows 10. When the arrow snap feature was introduced with Windows 7, it allowed users to quickly see two things side by side. Windows 10 improves on this concept by giving you the option to tile windows in quadrants, making keeping your screen organized a snap. Oh, come on, I've done worse than that. Anyway, you'll also be able to manage and switch between apps more easily. Metro or modern UI style apps will allow you to change settings and execute commands from the title bar instead of relying only on the charms menu. And Windows 10 also introduces a new task view that will clearly show everything you're working on side by side, kind of like mission control on Apple OS 10. Task view will even allow you to have multiple desktops open at once so you can switch between a number of different workspaces quickly. A huge productivity booster for notebook users or anyone else who is limited to a single display. But what else is going on besides UI enhancements? Don't worry, Windows 10 has got some stuff going on under the hood as well. Most notably Cortana, and I'm not talking about that weird holographic chick from Halo, although I guess Kind I am, since she's like named after her and stuff. But, but no, she's different. Cortana was originally meant to be a personal assistant that was Microsoft's answer to Siri. She first debuted on Windows Phone and will now be waking her way to the desktop to help you find things quickly, organize your life, voice control your PC, and she even promises to preemptively give you info before you even search for it by digging around in your personal details. Not that she can know anything you tell her not to know. Very cool stuff. You can manually turn stuff off, like don't know about my fetishes. <sighs> Also, Microsoft is shifting its focus away from Internet Explorer and will be including an entirely separate browser, in addition to Internet Explorer, with Windows 10. It's codenamed Spartan and features a new design philosophy, better compatibility with modern websites, a new rendering engine that they're saying is like blazing fast, and support for browser extensions, finally! But wait, there's more. Windows 10 will ship with DirectX 12, which is designed to allow games to communicate more directly with your graphics hardware, resulting in theoretically better performance and more realistic visuals. And to delight your other senses, Windows users are finally getting native support for FLAC lossless audio, as well as HEVC, a new video codec that can support 8K video. The good news with all of this stuff is that you won't need any additional hardware to run Windows 10 if your PC already supports Windows 7 or 8. But Linus, how much is all of this going to cost me? Well, although Microsoft has been known to charge relatively high prices, Here's my filling with the gold in it, Microsoft. Please give me Windows. Um, that looks to be a thing of the past. An upgrade to Windows 10 is going to cost you nothing. If you have Windows 7 or 8.1, you can upgrade to 10 for one year after it's released for the low price of free. Though you'll still need to buy a full version if you're building a new rig. But if you're upgrading your existing PC, the extremely low cost interface enhancement, DirectX 12, and all that great stuff makes Windows 10 about as interesting as an operating system release can be. Speaking of interesting, what's more interesting than investing in yourself by learning? By signing up for today's episode sponsor, lynda.com. They're used by millions of people around the world with more than 3,000 courses available in topics like web development, photography, visual design, business, video editing. They also have software training for things like Excel, WordPress, and Photoshop. And all the courses are taught by industry experts with new courses added each week. So whether you want to set a new financial goal, find work-life balance, invest in a new hobby, or ask your boss for a raise thanks to your new skills, in 2015, lynda.com has something for everyone. It's extremely affordable. You can learn at your own pace and you can get a 
10-day free trial, which gives you access to every course on lynda.com, which you can use on your desktop or desktop, desktop, or even on your iPhone or Android phone. So thanks for watching this episode. Thanks to lynda.com for sponsoring it. Like it if you liked it, dislike it if you thought it sucked. Leave a comment if your feelings are more complicated than this or you have suggestions for future fastest possibles. And as always, don't forget to subscribe for more videos just like this one.